<laughs> Before you can add products to your online store with Printful, you'll first need to create a product template. Product templates are the Printful products that you personalize with your own designs, text, and other customizations. Once you create a product template, you can push your new product directly to your Shopify store or other platform you've integrated with Printful. With Printful, you can easily customize and sell all sorts of products, including shirts, hats, phone cases, hoodies, tote bags, and all types of other apparel items and accessories. So let's head over to Printful and go over how to create product templates. If you haven't joined Printful yet, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or click the link in the video description to join for free. If you're looking to sell print on demand or drop shipping products on Shopify or other platforms, Printful is definitely the easiest way to do this. Once you log into Printful, you should be taken to your dashboard. So to create a new product template, we'll first have to go over to the product templates page. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left and click the product templates tab. This will open up the product templates page where you can view all the product templates that you've previously created and where you can create new product templates as well. To create a new product template, you could select the blank template here with the plus sign icon or go up to the top right hand side here and click the create new button. This will open up the products menu where you can view all the products that are available on Printful. The selection of products that you can create on Printful is actually pretty amazing. They have a wide selection of men's clothing, women's clothing, kids clothes, accessories, home and living items, hats, collections, and brand merch. You can view each of the categories on the left hand side menu here. And if you click the drop down menu underneath the category, you can see all of the subcategories as well. Printful currently has over 340 products available and more products are constantly being added. So for my product template, I think I'm gonna check out what new products Printful has. If I click the new products tab from the menu on the left, It'll take me to a page displaying all the products that Printful recently added. With so many products available on Printful, you may need some help filtering or sorting them when browsing. When browsing a category, if you look at the top, you should see a toolbar with various drop-down menus. These options will allow you to sort your products by color, sizes, branding options, or by technique. But I'm not sure what product I wanna create yet, so let's check out what new products Printful has. As you can see, Printful has a variety of products, such as fleece pullovers, phone cases, yoga mats, men's and women's t-shirts, and even bottles of lotion. So to add to my online store, I think I'll create a product template for the new men's premium cotton t-shirt here. When you select your product, you should be taken to the Printful Design Maker. Here's where you can fully customize and personalize your selected product. On the left, you can access all the tools and features that you need to create your product design. And on the right, you'll see the product preview where you can edit your design directly on the product. So if you look at the menu on the left, you'll see that we're currently on the product tab. From here, we can view details of the product that we currently have selected or change the product if we wish. We can also choose the printing technique that we want to use. Currently, I have DTG printing selected which stands for direct to garment printing. This is for creating standard ink printed designs and gives you the ability to add a large design on the front of products like t-shirts. For many products, you can also choose embroidery. With embroidery, instead of using ink, your design is stitched into the product, making for a really cool effect. But keep in mind, on products like t-shirts, embroidery will have a smaller print area and you can typically print on the left chest or the center of the chest. But for my product template, I'm gonna go with the standard DTG printing process. From the product tab, you can also choose the colors you want your product to be available in. Some products will have tons of colors, but it looks like my t-shirt here only has two. When selecting your colors, make sure you only select the colors that go well with the design that you'll be adding to your product. To add your design to the product, Simply drag your design over to the print area or click the print area icon here. When you click this, it'll open up your file library where you can view all the images and other files that you've uploaded to Printful. To upload the design I wanna use for my product, let's look at the top and click the upload new file button. I can then find and open up the image from my device. Keep in mind that you should only upload files in PNG 
JPEG, or PDF formats. When your image finishes uploading, you'll see it appear in the Recently Used Files section here. To add it to your product template, simply hover your mouse over it and click the Apply button. And my design has been added to my product template. Once you add your image, you can easily resize it by dragging the corners or click and drag the image to rearrange it. When arranging your image, make sure you stay within the rectangle print area. Whenever you add a new graphic, text, or other element to your product template, you'll see it appear over here on the left hand side in the Layers tab. Using layers, you can easily move your elements behind or in front of other elements. Also, when you add your design to your template, you'll notice a toolbar appear up top with several options. If I select my design, then click the Transform tab, it'll open up a menu where I can rotate my image, adjust the width and height, or flip it horizontally or vertically. If I go to the Position tab, I can align my design to the sides or the center of the print area. But I want my design to be a little higher, so let's move it up a bit. There are also options here if you need to crop your image, and even if you need to remove the background. If you wanted to add new text to your design, you could easily do this by going to the Text tab from the menu on the left hand side. This will open up a menu with a text field where you can type in whatever you want to add to your design, and where you can find tons of professional text templates that you can use as well. If you wanted to use one of the text templates, simply click it to add it to your product. You can then change the text, and move it around and resize it as needed. And to add standard text to your design, Let's go back to the text tab and simply type in whatever we want to say in the box up top. As you can see, my text automatically appeared on my template, but some of it actually falls outside of the print area. So let's drag the corner here to resize the text element. I can then rearrange it as needed, and use the toolbar up top to change the color, search through tons of different fonts to find one that best goes with your design. Click the Arc tab to arc your text up or down. Use the Transform tab to rotate your text, and even add a text outline or a shadow. But for this example, let's delete my text. So we've gone over how to upload your own images and add text to your product template. Now let's go over how to add clip art and other graphics from the Printful library. If you look at the menu on the left, you should see a tab that says Clip Art. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can browse through tons of different clip art on almost any topic. And this is great for when you want to add a little extra touch to your designs. With so many clip art designs, the best way to find what you're looking for is to use the search bar up top here. So let's say I'm creating my design and I want to add something abstract. This will pull up all the clip art in the Printful library related to that keyword. I can then browse through the search results and find a good clip art to use with my design. So let's say I wanted to use this abstract star looking icon here. I could simply click it, and it'll automatically be added to my product template. And of course, you can then move it around, resize it, and even change its color. Adding clip art can be a great way to give your designs that little extra touch. If you're having trouble coming up with a cool design for your products, you can also look at the menu on the left hand side and click the Quick Designs tab. Here's where you can find simple, pre-made designs that you can easily customize to use for your product. They have pre-made designs for all sorts of topics and categories, so feel free to browse around and find a design that you like. When you find a quick design that you want to use, simply click it to add it to your template. Your pre-made design may consist of multiple graphics and clip art, and you'll see them all appear in the Layers tab. And of course, once you add your design, feel free to resize and rearrange it as needed. For many of the products on Printful, such as t-shirts, you can actually add designs to multiple locations on the product. If you look at the top above the toolbar here, you can see the various locations on your product that you can add designs to. Up until now, I've been adding my design to the front of my product, but I can also add it to the back, the outside label, the inside label, the right sleeve, or the left sleeve. The design locations that are available will depend on the product that you're editing. If I wanted to add a design to the back of my t-shirt for example, I could simply click the back tab and upload and edit my design on the back of my product just like I did on the front. So for this example, 
I think I'll add my logo to the outside label of the shirt. The outside label is on the back of the shirt at the top near the collar. So let's click the print area, find my design, and add it to my product. I can now resize and rearrange it. And for my outside label, I think I'll add my website as well. So let's click the text tab and type in my website URL. I can then resize it to fit inside the print area and I think I'm gonna move it below my design. When adding designs to your product, keep in mind that certain print areas can't be combined with others. For example, since I've already added a design to the outside label of the shirt, I can no longer add a design to the inside label or the back of the shirt because they can't be combined. With this in mind, make sure you have an idea of where you want your designs to go before you start creating your product. Also, some products may have a maximum amount of placements that you can use. For this t-shirt, for example, I can only choose a maximum of two placements. When adding your design to new placements on your product, keep in mind there may be an upcharge for the extra design. To add a design to my outside label, there will be an extra charge of $2.50. So when adding designs to new placements, make sure you keep your product costs in mind. So let's click to go back to the front of my shirt. While designing your product template, make sure you go down to the bottom of your product preview and check out all the colors that you have selected to make sure your design works well with them all. If your design is hard to see or doesn't look right on any of the colors, you may want to disable that color. So another cool resource that we can use to create designs on Printful are the premium images. If we click the premium tab from the menu on the left hand side, it'll open up a menu where we can search through tons of stock images, vector graphics, and other premium images that we can use for our design. There are thousands of images available, so the best way to find what you're looking for is to use the search bar up top. If I type in fire for example, it'll pull up all the premium images related to that keyword. I can then browse through the search results, and when I find one I like, simply click it to add it to my template. If the image you select isn't a vector graphic, then it may have a background behind it. I can't add the fire to my design with a background, but luckily, Printful provides us with a powerful background removal tool. If I select my image, then click the Remove Background tab at the top here, the background will instantly be removed from my premium image. I can now resize and adjust my flame just like any other element on my design. With the background removal tool, you can make some really creative designs using standard images and photos. Also, if you look closely here, you can see the flame is in front of my design, blocking the bottom part of my logo. To move an element behind or in front of another element, simply go to the Layers tab and drag your element to the desired position. Elements at the top will be at the front of your template and down near the bottom will be at the back of your template. So let's move my flame behind my design. There we go. Let's click the little magnifying glass on the side here to zoom in a bit. As you can see, the fire is now behind my logo. And if I move my logo back below the fire in the layers tab, my logo should move back behind the fire on my template as well. If you look on the right hand side of your design preview, you'll see a little toolbar with several options that can help you while designing. We just used the magnifying glass here to zoom into my design, but let's see what else we can do. If I select the grid option here, it'll add a grid to my print area that I can use to keep my design aligned. If you have a lot of elements in your design, this can be great to make sure everything is aligned perfectly. The next icon we have here is the full screen preview. This, of course, will open up a full screen preview of your mock-up and your design. This can give you a much better idea of how your design will look on the product. And finally, we also have the Placements tab. When you click this, you'll be able to view all the different placements that are available for your product and view all the areas where you've added your design. And at the bottom right, you can also see the cost for adding your design to that particular area. So let's go back to my product template here and delete this fire image. Feel free to take your time and edit your design as much as you like. But once you're finished, go ahead and look at the bottom right and click the continue button. This will take you to the next step where you can name your product template, view your product template details, and add your sizes. If I click the add sizes link at the bottom here, I'll see all the sizes that the product is available in. I can select all sizes or only choose the ones I wanna offer my product in. 
So once you've added your product template title and selected your sizes, go ahead and click on Save Product Template. And voila, the product template for my new men's premium cotton t-shirt has been created. Once you've created a new product template on Printful, you can easily add it to your online store with just a few clicks. Once you've integrated Printful with Shopify or other online store, you can simply hover your mouse over the product template you want to add, then click the Add to Store button. This will open up a window where you can view all the stores that you currently have connected to your Printful account. So to add my new product to my Shopify store, let's select the Shopify option. Whatever platform you select, simply follow the steps to add your product, and once you click Submit to Store, Printful will begin adding your product to your store with all the details that you provided. So let's head over to my Shopify store and see if we can find my new product. And with just a few clicks, my new men's premium cotton t-shirt has been added to my online store. And with print on demand, customers can now make a purchase and Printful will take care of the printing and the shipping. So that's a quick overview of how to create product templates on Printful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.